oh my god, we just did a podcast with JoJo! Ah! It was amazing. How did you enjoy it? I um, really, really enjoyed myself. <laughs> I really did. It was really unique. We talked about uh, sex. We talked about music. We talked about drama. We talked about Drew. Oh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Check it out. SoundCloud.com slash Shane Press. Bye. Okay. We're by the fire. The boys are here. And for some reason, Ryland's holding a balloon or something. You want to light that on fire? Is oh, that yeah. dangerous? Is that going to kill us? All right. Let's see what happens. All Why right, not? Be careful. <gasps> oh, my God. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was so scary. Ah! Wait, now I want to do more balloons. I have this deflated happy birthday balloon, which is me. <laughs> it's just gonna rise a little. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> me in a crowd. <laughs> okay, so we are out by the fire and we are talking about what we're gonna do tonight. I have no idea what we're doing. Garrett, you said you have this plan. I know all about it. I went to the deep web today. We're gonna call the scariest numbers that I could find in my three hours of research. <laughs> Is it just 6666? Six, six, six? No, it's not 6666. Six, six. <laughs> I tried that one. No one picked up. Wait, I'm sorry. We're going to be calling these numbers with our phones, and then fucking demons are going to have our numbers? No, because some of them are actually really, really, really scary, as in, like, <laughs> there's one number that there's been reports of them calling back for, like, eight months <laughs> and, like, ruining people's lives. Um, okay, so me when I get Jake Paul's number. <laughs> I have a plan. We can go to Target and get like a burner phone, like a temporary phone. That's like a thing. You can go get like prepaid minutes on a phone. All right, we're gonna go to Target. We're gonna get a burner phone. This all sounds very shady. I don't know. See you at Target. Um, that's the exit. Garrett loves going in the exit. Wait, what does that mean? It's your game. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Why does Boss Baby have a bad hairline? That's literally what I'm gonna look like when I'm 40. <laughs> With the cookie and everything. <laughs> Me when I hate my job. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> we should make these. Can we get these for your place? You don't have any cups. And these I are... want to break all of please, those. Please, I'll use this one. And I can assign you guys cups. <gasps> Four cups for four boys. Please. Just read all the books tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have a game. Come forward a little bit. <gasps> that almost looks real, doesn't it? I'm kind of turned on, Drew. Wait, can you do it to me with Princess Diana? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's accurate. Really? Oh, wait, give a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, gay. gay. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, guys, they have Kids Bop. Have oh. you ever heard Kids Bop? Yeah, Quillish and I Yeah, I had one through 20, and then Wait. they. It's too have many. Literally. Go home. Wait, what? So these are all the phones? They're so there's pricey. different types? That's gonna be me. <laughs> what do you think they're looking at? Probably more drinks to drink. <laughs> okay, we got our phone. Also, me. <laughs> this was like my phone in high school. Did you have a phone like this? Uh, no, I was poor. When was your first, like, phone? Literally when I was 20. Cool. <laughs> I think we should get like matching like phone shirts to make all of our phone calls. Phone shirt? Yeah, like a screen tee that's like, what's up guys? Or like text me later. <laughs> can I do Stupid this instead? <gasps> what's the, I want to be Spider-Man. But what does that have to do with phones? Does it matter? You can be Eeyore, I'll be Spider-Man. What do you want to be, Drew? Oh my God, there's a Harry Potter one. I'm going to lose my shit. What is that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. I cannot find graphic tees. Can we just get the onesies? We're not getting fucking onesies. We got the fucking onesies. <laughs> Listen, I just want to have a good time, and if onesies is what you want, then that's what you're gonna get. Okay, so where's the phone? I have to this? set it up. That's oh my God. <laughs> this is the phone. Wow. This is so fun because, like, wait, give me something cunty to say. Cunty? Yeah, like sassy. Okay. Um, it's my business now, right? <laughs> like you take over a business. No, like, shut the fuck up oh. and give me my numbers. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and give me my numbers. I think you could have done it's my business now. It's my business now. I, I would have tried more of one of these. I would have gone, <laughs> it's my business now. <laughs> Garrett's putting together the phone. I had to unzip. I'm very hot. But Drew looks so cute. Hello, um... <laughs> Is he British, Eeyore? Uh, yeah, he just changed. Oh. <laughs> okay, the phone we think is working, right? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. freaking out. All right, I'm excited. Where's the scary numbers? In my damn phone. Wait, I feel like we need to go to a scarier part of the house for this. <laughs> Any part of your house? Eeyore? The toilet. <laughs> okay, we have a flashlight. We're ready to do this. Okay, so by the way, I just need to tell you a little bit of the process. So I just went on the internet for like a really long time, like through all sorts of different sites and just screenshotted different like phone numbers and comments of people finding some really creepy numbers. So the first one says, to go on a dark journey, choose your fate. That's all it said. These were like scary, cryptic, like online things. Okay, this is 1-800. Welcome. Hello? Oh. Yeah. 
Ew. Ew, what was that? Wait, I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, is this gonna be a real person? Yeah, that's... I better not be or I'll freak out. First, there is darkness, and only the smelling and hearing of things. <laughs> My house. <laughs> This is boring. I know. <laughs> get out of this I want to call a fucking cult and I okay. want to murder All right. someone. Okay. Wait, let me. Know. Maybe there's a. Um. So that one's really fucking. Scary. This one says, "Do not call this number." I love it. I don't even need to read that. Wait. They will be in touch. They will ruin your life. Oh. No, that was the scariest one. Out of all the research I did, this one sounds really scary. People have had these horror stories. People's girlfriends have gotten calls from them the next few days, and apparently they try to ruin your life. That's why we got this. This phone. can't be real. It's. There were a lot of stories about it on there. Wait. Are we gonna die? Someone's girlfriend calls you. Ew. You have reached Food Love Industries. Your number has been logged and traced. We at Food Love Industries say thanks. You have a marvelous day. Wait, what? It said our number's been logged? Traced and logged. Apparently, like, that's how it starts. And then, like, it starts from there, and then people say from there it, like, has taken down their lives. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm scared. I am too, but that's why we have a <laughs> fake phone. Okay, this one is really insane. Hang on. This is a comment kind of from a girl uh, on Reddit. It said, please do not listen to what they have to say. Please do not listen to what they have to say. I tried to call this number once and I feel like there are things hidden within these words. There's evil disguised in them. I called this number and a vase broke in my kitchen. Basically, she called the number, a vase or something broke inside of her kitchen and then she came back into her room and then the phone was in her bathroom. She left it on her bed. Even though she's super atheist, she felt like her room where her house was possessed after she calls her number. Well, great. Let's get possessed. Maybe it was a vase-breaking service. <laughs> <laughs> so, she thinks this is some witchcraft. It's, uh, I don't know, 858. Drinking in a mountain stream is my idea of a good time. After the dance, they went straight home. Wait, is this like There's a subliminal message? Or That's what this person room. thought, is there was like evil Those shit hidden. Those were the cue for the actor to leave. Ooh, this is weirding The place seems they're not listed in the new phone book. I just, I just Should picture I like a middle-aged couple sitting down like a, a bush, like <laughs> doing it. The hogs were fed chopped corn and garlic. <laughs> the right taste of cheese improves with age. <laughs> this is slowly just turning into a Food Network show. All right, we're this done with that. Let's just break. fucking find okay. serial killers and call them. This one says, a phone number that if called correctly will transport you to a creepy land where anything is possible if admitted. Creepy land or fun land? I want to go to Candyland. I never told anyone Wait. that. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Crazy Girls. Your Witchcraft. You made this call fucking Harry Potter Land? I'm Fuck sorry. off. I said we'll transport you to a magical place if admitted. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you call that a lot. I'm sorry. You know what number I used to get a lot in high school what? was the rejection hotline. Was that? What, what do you mean? Nobody ever got that? Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. This is some really like deep web stuff. I don't know about this, but this is what it says, okay? I'm gonna speak fast here, so stay with me. This is a phone numbers that are, that is not what it seems. A coin deposit is what they say in this phone call. is an intricate series of numbers which must be entered as soon as the word coin deposit is spoken. If entered correctly, a voice will pick up and ask what you need done. Who people think is like an assassin wait, or wait, something. Wait, 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 Is this real? Because this whole dark web shit is very- No, cool. this is real, but we have a fake phone. If I put in the right number, it, like a fucking serial killer will answer I don't know about a serial killer. Apparently it's a guy that picks up and says like, what do you need done? Like, tell me the details. If you put in the right number, then it, I guess it links to an account that he's like, okay, I have the payment in. Like, what do you need done? Okay, so, here we go. Coin. The call you have made requires a coin deposit. Please hang up, check the instructions on the payphone for the appropriate rate, and dial your call again. Is that an even- I want to get the right numbers. I don't think that's how it works. If it's dark web under criminal stuff, it's probably like 30 hung numbers. Up on me. Well, that's scary Wait, though. that's real? I had to go deep to find that one, but it's real. <laughs> okay, well let's- that was- that- I'm actually scared. <laughs> what would we have done if you would have answered? I screamed. Like, the phone what would we have gotten done? Ooh. Oh, oh, I guess solving world peace. I don't know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this one just said, I don't know what this one is. It just says a clueless man. Like, it's <laughs> one. Random old I, man. Honestly? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how 
creepy that Honestly, is. Honestly, you know what I just realized? What? We can call like everybody that I went to high school with. We could fucking ruin people's lives with this phone. Or we could try the next number on the list. <laughs> okay, there's one more scary number. This one comes with another little story. Oh God. I'm sorry, but it does. Is that the tones you hear are being played live in a medical facility where the patients have to hear the sound 24 hours a day. They subjected themselves to this study in 2014 and were made fully aware of the risk and the study will end in December 2018. All the patients have been declared in a state of some sort of insanity due to this tone. So Maybe basically it's like- Torture them? No, 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 but no, this is what it says. <laughs> Listening to it even five times induces like a little bit of a state of panic in Great. man. Let's do it. Wait, wait, what's going on? Hello? Are you okay? <laughs> Is that spooky? I don't know if that's spooky. <laughs> Why don't we prank call Wendy's or something? Done, yes. <laughs> oh, Arby's. Can we drag Arby's? No, I don't want to be mean. I hate pranks. Oh wait, it's not open. Denny's. What should we say to Denny? Do the one with the lowest stars. Yeah! Oh my god, we should ask about their Yelp reviews. <laughs> no, that's mean. No, that's fun. What voice should I do? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> it can't be Wait, I can do my man voice. Hi. <laughs> my man voice! <laughs> Fucking me when I was 12. Really? The worst prank call ever. <laughs> no preparation. Hi, uh, my name is George. I just was on the app Yelp and I saw that your Wendy's actually has a two-star rating. Me and my friends were thinking of coming down and we just wanted to know if there was any other sort of reason why that might have happened, a, a mismatched order or something, and if you guys are all good to go tonight because we wouldn't, we don't want to have two, two out of five star food. So if you guys are doing better, we'll be on our way. Um, I actually haven't taken a look at the Yelp reviews, but I mean, we did use I could read you a few of them. Uh, one of them said that there was actually a server who, who did a dirty look and wouldn't give, they asked for whipped cream on a milkshake and I guess that didn't get delivered. <laughs> I mean, I'll definitely do better than that, I can tell you that. You're promising some whipped cream, I'm guessing. Yeah, and as much as you want, man, I'll give you some on the side, too. Like, I have no problem giving the whipped cream. Okay, thank you. And I am an elite Yelper, so that will be uh, punching your numbers up quite a bit. So thanks so much. <laughs> no problem. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Was, was that a fan? <laughs> she was, like, into it. <laughs> Wow. Should we ask a fan for their number? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay, so we wanted to call a fan, but then I thought if I tweet the phone number, then people will be calling and we won't actually be able to like talk, right? Yeah. So what if I go to my DMs and try to find a <laughs> fan? <laughs> but literally I open my DMs and right away I see a phone number. This is somebody named Sis. What are we gonna say? This has been Your number has been lost and trained. Wait, what the fuck? Ew! Wait, that was the no- Like it starts from there and then people say from there it like has taken down their lives. <laughs> what? Wait, that's really scary. Oh my god, Ew. all these kids in the DMs are talking about this number. They're all saying, don't call, you're gonna die, don't call, you're gonna wait, die. Wait, what? I just called it and it's- Wait, wait, number. you didn't even talk about this today, did you? No, not, not at all, no. Ew. It's in our life. All right, let me find another number. <laughs> oh, ask a question on Twitter. Say like, who wants to call me right now? Ew! <laughs> I get me when I go to jail. Okay, I couldn't find a number in the DMs. <laughs> me when I'm Sam Pepper. <laughs> so you now you're tweeting the phone number. Yeah, because he has a billion Twitter followers. And so Wait, we just... missed your billion party? <laughs> go, okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god, oh my god. This is freaky. Oh my god, I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> Can you imagine how self-conscious I'd get if literally no one called? <laughs> Oh, oh, low, low battery. battery. <laughs> Someone says, okay. Wait, what do we do? What do we say? What do we say? Oh. Hello? Oh. Hello? Hello? Are they okay? <laughs> Ew. I think they just got into a car accident. Hello? What's the matter? Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's the matter. We're good. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I posted it. Oh, you posted it? Who is this? Tell those bitches to shut the fuck up! I'm not me. What? Who is this? This is Hannah. Who's this? Hannah? Yeah. That's a pretty name. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> me when I get a compliment. <laughs> is there a way 
you turn off the beeping? Hannah, I want you to repeat these words. I want you to say... <laughs> I can't think of anything that won't get me arrested. So many like, things. I like, I like to have fun and, and, I, and I like to be carefree. <laughs> Hannah, I want you to squeal like a pig. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't believe that, Hannah. <laughs> Commit, Hannah. <laughs> I don't believe you, Hannah. I want you to get on all fours and squeal like a pig. Can't we just speak to someone like a normal person? Hello? Hello? Who is this? Oh. <laughs> I wasn't sure at first, but what is this going? What are you? Are you Karen Watts? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, I know Garrett Watts. Okay. All right. <laughs> what is happening? We're popping you popcorn. You're gonna get some butter too. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Do you like Garrett Watts? Yes. Do you think he should live? <laughs> What if I told you right now I was standing over his body? Well... Maybe. Now, how much do you really like Gary Watts? We're about to find out. I will let him live, but... Yay. I will retweet you from an account with 500 million followers if you let me kill him. No, I'm good. He's still alive. Oh! That's so nice. That's so sweet. Thank you. Never mind, I'm killing him. <laughs> That was fun. That was really sweet. Yeah, but I feel like we just, we're just... We're do this is a scary video. We're not doing a fan call video. You get one fan. Ready? No, okay. Okay. Excuse me. Honey, why are you calling this number so late? Not that one. It's only 3 a.m. where I am. I thought you were going to talk to them as yourself. <sighs> Sorry. Hi. How's it going? Ew. I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> this sucks. Help. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Said you're too nice for a prank call. I know. And I'm like, I'm dying. Stop. Keep calling. Oh no. <laughs> Nobody has been concerned. They're like, who is this? <laughs> All right, let's go burn this phone. Okay. This is kind of magical. Yeah. Straddle it. Oh, oh right fuck. On the, right on the log. <laughs> what if you just heard, hello? <laughs> Ew. It's still ringing. But like a deeper ring. Someone wants to get to us. What if it's that number? No matter what, they'll find us. <laughs> well, there you guys go. That was us calling scary phone numbers. I had a lot of fun. Listen, I know I got a little scary and crazy at the end, but like, that's just me. Oh, that's just you and me. <laughs> Am I the only one still in a onesie? <laughs> no, I'm in a onesie too. Okay, good. We're going to take off these onesies. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this creepy video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss anything. Also, make sure to go over to Garrett and Drew's channel because they both have brand new videos up right now. And they're scary. Um, or in a way. <laughs> I'm getting a mouse with Drew. We're going to go buy it together. If you want to come watch it, come to my channel. All right, you guys. We'll see you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not scary. I like it. <laughs> okay, we're on our way home to call some scary numbers, but first, kids bop! <laughs> yes, you do when you're crossing the street! Yes! Yo, this slap! Spit! Spit! Yes! Wait, what else do they got? This is what she came for. Ew! <laughs> this is an eight-year-old. Yeah, they're sexy songs, right? This is what you came for. She's talking about her pussy. Oh no, she's a girl! <laughs>